All right, thank you, Phil, for um, showing us how Nexel works. So let's get into it. Um, could you tell us a little bit about what, what the problem that Nexel solves? So Nexel is a client revenue platform. And what we are trying to do is help lawyers turn their relationships into revenue. And the big problem that we're solving is that CRM systems are just a very bad fit for lawyers. They're usually built for sales teams and professional trained salespeople, and lawyers are not professionally trained in sales. At all. And so there's a very, very big mismatch on the tool set, especially they take a lot of data entry. And most of the lawyers we speak to, they tell us, I don't use the CRM, what we have at the firm, because it just requires so much data entry, and I don't really get anything back from it. They're only using it as a marketing tool to send newsletters, and that's about it. And we're changing this. We're really empowering the individual lawyers for them to turn their relationships into revenue. So what you can see here, this is my personal address book, basically. I have blurred out the personal information here, but basically what it does is it is connected to my inbox and my calendar. And every single time I have a meeting with someone, I'm talking to someone, it automatically creates them in my CRM, in my address book. And then it adds um, additional information to that contact to basically give me a better insight into who is this person. It gives me the job titles, their location, um, their social links, their previous work, where they worked at, everything. And I'm showing you Norm here. Norm is one of our partners. We have a very tight relationship with Wilson Allen, who help us also kind of with the rollout of the CRM with some of our clients. Wow. So just, just to be clear on that, you said this pulls all the information from the email. So you're not the one adding this information in every Correct. Time. This is all automatic. So by me sending an email to Norm, for example, it automatically adds all of this information. And we're not even pulling it from the email because this information is not in the email. We're getting it from our data enrichment services. Right. Okay. So if you're a law firm working on like Microsoft 365, yes. how, how, how is that going to work? It, it, it still pulls the, the information? Do you right. just talk with the IT team and they can toggle that on? Or how does that work on the IT Yeah, side? so the setup is really, really easy and simple. So we hook up to Office 365 and using the Microsoft APIs. So it only takes 10 minutes to set it up for your IT team. And then every single communication and every single contact throughout the entire firm is automatically captured. And then once you have this information, you can then also see on the who knows whom across the entire firm. So here, for example, I can see, okay, Norm, I know Norm and Steven within my organization. So for a law firm, they would start mapping the relationship of who knows whom across all of the organization. It only takes 10 minutes to set up and it's fully automated. Wow. I mean, just from the BD side, that will save a lot of time trying to figure out a lot of time food. a lot of time holy cow okay we had a different consultant actually do a test to see what the efficiency increase is from the day-to-day -day business development and he's time stopped it over an entire month and it was a 67 percent increase in efficiency around doing business development wow i'm sure like anyone watching this has sent that email hey does anyone know this person yeah. from this firm <laughs> um so now the bd team they can see everything Right. Or you can set it up for permission. So whoever, you know, maybe managing partner or whatever can see everything. And then the individual lawyers, they can just see their Rolodex, as it were, their, their content. They can see their Rolodex, everything. but they can still see the who knows whom across the entire okay. firm because it's so important to have this transparency. Mm. Because it, ever, it, it even gives them a little bit more control over their own relationships. Lawyers are so scared of sharing their client relationships. But at the end of the day, right now, they have no way to control and protect it because they don't know if any one of their colleagues is actually trying to reach out to them. We give them more control through this transparency and this right. visibility across the firm. And I'm just looking at the, the user interface and I see a really interesting stay in touch uh, tag there. So that I think that will be very useful because I think BD teams try to encourage their partners to you know reach out, do all of that. And this is seems like a very really, really useful tool. When we speak to lawyers, lawyers tell us one thing. The partner tells us the thing what they want is a very simple um, list of they, who they know and something that helps them stay in touch with their important relationships. And this is what we deliver here. You simply set on how often you want to stay in touch with your important contacts. 
and then the system does the rest for you. It automatically reminds you. Mm. And it also automatically gets rid of the task and resets itself because it knows if you have reached out to this person or not by email or if you had a, a meeting with them. Right. So it's fully automated. Okay. And I see some over, you know, on the left side, there's different um, lists and things that you've created, like Christmas lists. So I'm sure all of this can be customized to add different Correct. Sort of tags, Correct. So it's this time of the year again with the Christmas lists. And we make it very, very easy for partners to just go to their contacts, select on who they want to add, and then they simply click on the Christmas list. And this is how they add their valuable contacts to different Christmas lists. And then once the time of the year comes, they can then simply um, export their Christmas list. Awesome. Now, just speaking of exporting, um, so how would this integrate or work with sort of mailing uh, platforms like yeah. MailChimp or how, you know, because how, how does that work? Yeah, so we have a full list manager. So in our marketing list management solution helps you segment very specifically segmented lists by industry sectors, by who they know and so on. And then this allows you to automatically sync with MailChimp or other email marketing solutions. So it creates an audience automatically for you and then even gets the engagement stats back where it tells you, okay, who has opened it, who has clicked on it and so on, or sync back into Nexo. Now, let's say you have like a contact form on the website and someone fills in the contact form. Will that, can you set it up to create a new contact like leads or something on here? Yes, but only if you do it through your email system. So it needs to generate okay. an automatic email which says, thank you for submitting um, these details. And as soon as that email is sent, then it's automatically captured in the system again. That makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm just looking over on the left sidebar and I see a really interesting uh, tag called prospecting. Uh, can, can you uh, show us what that means? Yeah. So prospecting is something where we're the only solution actually out there for professional services and especially for law firms where we provide an inbuilt client prospecting tool. And what that means is every lawyer and every PD person within a law firm with access to Nexel is able to access a database of over 450 million professional profiles from across the world and prospect for new clients. So let's, say, let's go for an example. If I go into Thailand, for example, and I want to reach out and increase my network in the banking industry, as you can see, here's all the banks in Thailand. Go, go SCB, uh, CM Commercial Bank. This one? Yeah. Yeah. I can then simply add this to my CRM as a prospect, or I can then even add it to a list as well directly, which is a prospect oh. list, for example, if we have a project. But then let's say, there you go. Um, I go to the actual contact record now of the, of the company. All of this information is already on the left-hand side, added automatically. We don't have any contacts there yet, but then I can click on prospect and the prospecting now goes and gives me access to the right stakeholders and decision makers I want to connect with. Holy cow. Do you know how much time this will, <laughs> this will save a lot of the BD teams? Uh, it makes it so much easier. And it's not only the time what it saves because it's so accessible, people are more engaged in it. So actual lawyers, use this prospecting tool. They're actually using that for their business development efforts. It makes so it a little bit more fun. To start connecting to more. It's more fun, yeah. It's sort of more like hunting and trying. So it, let's say you have an existing contact. Can you see yeah. who you don't know at that firm? Yes. I guess you can, right? You can, you can do the same thing. So if I just go and do Wilson Allen again, let me see if I can find them very quickly. There you go. I can show you contacts we know, but then also under the prospects, I can then look into who do we, who can we prospect for? Who don't we know? Where it shows me the email address already, those are the people we already know. And as you can see, Norm is here, which I've shown you just in a, sec a second ago. And then we have other tools as well here to help obviously with your task management, project management as well for this new working in the hybrid world, it's becoming very, very difficult, obviously. I can't just get up, walk over to a partner and help them with their business development. You have to project manage it a little bit better. So we have project management tools in place to help with that. We have full opportunity and pipeline tracking to help you close more deals and not 
miss to follow up on important client opportunities, which is one of the biggest reasons why people lose deals nowadays in, in transactions and client opportunities. Can, can you, yeah, can you show me that one as well? Um, I can, obviously. Opportunities. I want to see. There you go. And I have one created here for Wilson Allen, for example. But you could go through all of this stuff here. As you can see, you have your one proposals, the proposals that are pending and send. And then once you go into one of them, you'll be able to see here what's the information about the proposal. You can add the proposal document. You see your full interaction history and timeline, everything right. there. And when you're using Outlook, I, I'm assuming there's some sort of plugin that you can use as well. There right? is a plugin within Outlook as well, because we understand that people wouldn't go into the system and actually then log a new opportunity. So we do it right from within Outlook. Let me quickly pull this up. So we have a very simple plugin. So let's say that this email from Norm is actually a new client opportunity. He tells me that there is, they're in need of a particular service. I get all the information that I have shown you just now in here as well. Plus also I simply click on create and I can create an opportunity right from within here. And as oh, you can I see, see, I can see, okay, Wilson Allen, I can just very quickly click on it and I have instant access to the information about Wilson Allen right from within Outlook. Well, I like also what you have over here. It shows the engagement over time. So if you can go back to that one yep. view. This I think is really important, especially when we're having these partner meetings and we have these key client programs and we want to see how we're doing um, and how strong, I guess, a relationship. This sort of really quickly visualizes that for you. Correct. It shows you in how much you're engaged. And here we even visualize it. And as you can see, the Wilson Allen partnership started around September. This is when we started talking to each other. And he, every single time when you can see a, a, a blue dot, a square, this is a day where we had interaction. And this is really important for lawyers to see. And then you can see who are our most active contacts there. Awesome. Well, uh, Phil, this looks like an amazing tool that will help people save a whole bunch of time especially our lawyers who like yes. to complain about the traditional sort of CRM systems. Um, so I think this is a great tool to stay on top of those, those, those relationships. It so if we anyone keep it simple and automated. Yeah. I mean, how better else would you do it? Right. Um, yeah. So if someone wants to get in touch with you, do a full demo with you, what's the best way to do that? Two different ways. Either they reach out to me directly um, to Phil at nexel.io or they go into our homepage, into our CRM homepage, which is HTTPS, and it's nexelcrm.com. All right, sounds good. Thank you so much, Phil.